I'll show you the score that I'm about to play. There you go. Old T Joy. I think you might recognise it once it starts playing. I've uh, converted this into code. Hey guys, this is Tikazza in Roblox Studio. I thought I'd update you on what I'm doing next kind of thing. I've made myself a music player. I'll show you the score that I'm about to play. There you go. Old T Joy. I think you might recognise it once it starts playing. I've uh, converted this into code. I still don't quite understand how to read music completely like all these uh, little different pieces and things but it's as very close to what I I remember the sound the song sounds I'll let it play and then I'll talk about how to how I did it all right here we go three two one That's it. So the way I've done that is I've got the all the frequencies from the wiki, from the uh, piano wiki, put them into a table, so then I can reference them in the song, which is this here. I've also got a test scale going just to m make sure that I've got the right uh, tone and things. In fact, I can change that and show you that. All it is is just a scale. So yeah, I've been asleep since about, uh, must be about four this morning. And it's taken me about two hours to, no, not four, two this morning to work out exactly how music works and how, because I used to play a piano and I've forgotten it all. <laughs> so I've been on YouTube looking out, looking out how to read music uh, scores and things. So yeah, I hope you uh, I hope you recognise that tune, "Old Dick to Joy." It took a bit to actually work out how to get all the uh, bits and pieces together. So the way I'm actually doing that is, I got, let's say, the note there for the first uh, line, which is E. Then I'm telling the uh, reader down below how many beats that note goes for. So it goes for four beats. So then we go E, 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 F, 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 G, 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 and so on and so forth, all the way through. And that does actually change compared to uh, where the notes are. Like that's a pause, I think, as far as I know. That's a quarter or two beats, and that's a long drawn out beat, I think. I might be 100% wrong on that, but that's what I take that to be. So, if I can actually get it playing again, you better hear it. Copy and paste it down. Where is it? There it is. It took a little bit to work out how to uh, read those tables. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it took a bit to work out those tables, that's what I'm saying. I would talk all the way through that, but uh, you get a feedback on my on my microphone, <laughs> which I discovered in the last uh, video I put up with that uh, brick player. I'm thinking about converting this into that record thing that I was talking about with that brick player. And then I can uh, save them in, I don't know, save them on in Roblox so people can have my player and then they can throw around records and things or something like that I don't know don't know exactly how that's going to work but I've done the hardest bit that I thought was the trickiest bit that I could do yeah so basically if we get a it's like a, all the other ones are sort of how many beats per I think it's per section of that bit of music in other words that's four beats, that's four beats. No, one, two, three, four. No, wait a minute, that's four, 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 four. So it's four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen beats per section. And when when we come across a sort of, uh, what is it? Like a little space or no, it's not even playing or anything. I still haven't quite got that yet. I put a underscore and then how many sp how many beats it would get it would be silent for like oh right there it'd be silent for six beats so it'd play it for four beats and then it'd be silent for six I still haven't completely honed it yet because at the moment when there's no when that comes across that it keeps on playing the note I still haven't worked out how to do how to stop it properly because I've tried to uh, do what is it sound stop but it sounds a bit uh, funny so I'm, I'm going to work on the way of actually stopping that oh yeah that's that's my scale thing that I'm using I haven't actually used it in this example but I've got it there just in case I might want to use it to scale the notes properly but all I'm doing is just uh, getting those frequencies and dividing the notes by 400 and for the bass it's 200 because if I do it the same for the bass it'd be too low as so right, let's play it yeah so too low so I found out that 200 is actually bit perfect for bass I may work that out completely so it sounds better so yeah the way my readers actually doing the uh, the reading of that that array above this thing here is I'm taking the sections like the tables like let's say I'm reading this like an object uh, table which is basically what I'm doing there uh, where is it there then I'm checking to see if there's if the key is actually contains bass which in the first song it does four times and the same for the school but the second one there's only schools in it because it's only the, just the uh, the scale thing so then all I'm doing then is going through each of those channels if you like like uh, we got the score channel or the key channel if you like and then I'm referencing, referencing that in the table in the song table then I'm going to go through then I'm going to then I'm going through the note table which is these things and testing to see if there's a space or something inside the note which is by that this split is just basically just a uh, little function I found on the net just to break up strings into uh, into tables. Uh, if I can find it, I'll show you. There we are. That's someone else's. I I could write it myself, but I couldn't uh, work out exactly how to do it a quick way, and that's the quickest way I know or I found using Gmatch. So yeah, I'm splitting up the string, which is, let's just take, uh, where is it, 
take that for instance it's plays for four and then there's six where it's not playing six beats where it's not playing so then I'm checking to see if that's a number if it's not oh there we go if it's if it's a number if it's not in the case of that uh, that separated thing it will fail the first if it's if it is a number I just add it to the score and then increase the uh, the note number as I say if it's not a number it was start it split the two two sides of that uh, underscore out where you got the times and the, how many time how many spaces there is and then all I'm doing is just going through those times and spaces and then just adding what I need to which in the case of all times how many notes playing per beat or how many spaces for that beat and then all I'm doing then well the same for the bass it's just returning the score and the bass tables and all I'm doing then is just reading it which is basically that that's as simple as that <laughs> I still haven't got the pitch quite, quite right yet I might use my own uh, pitch table for my notes but that's straight from the wiki if you google uh, piano notes or I think that that's what it was piano notes or something that's what you come up with a table with that lot so yeah and I think I might as well go back to bed I think I'm just uh, as you can probably hear I'm just starting to get tired again <laughs> so I'm actually loving this uh, this side of creati creativity it's getting me I don't know making me more smarter than I've ever been anyway this has been Tigaza in Roblox Studio on my music player if you like <laughs> and I'll catch you guys in the in the next one I guess Tigaza signing out <laughs>